welcome back to the journey to adventure rank 60 only using ley lines so as you just saw that was the journey that was me getting from 20 to 30 over the course of however long the actual intermission between the previous part of this was but we're here with part two so in this video i'm just going to be showing you guys what i've achieved what i've gotten and talking about maybe some things that i might have to compromise on if i want to actually be able to continue doing this because weapon ascension material is a is a pretty big thing that you need to make uh, or give your characters power and there's no way of actually getting those without or doing a domain so i'm gonna pose the idea obviously a bit later and i'll see what you guys think about it in the comments but for now let's go over everything that we've uh, gotten and achieved in the past uh, month or so or, or, or a few weeks of getting from 20 to 30 and we actually have achieved a fair bit so we did get to do the spiral abyss um, we unlocked that I think at 20 or 25 we unlocked that at some point and we get went into the spiral abyss and we are able to get certain floors and obviously the higher level you go the more you can do and we have gotten to floor 3 chamber 3 and that has amazingly enough unlocked us Zhang Ling a very strong character and uh, I'm now in the process of getting her a 4 star weapon from the craftable system because as well from there you do get a, uh, a 4 star prototype billet for the spear from leveling up your adventure rank i think it's at 28 that you do get the uh the four star spear obviously we've ascended our main character to 60 with a 40 weapon this is uh, something that i want to talk about later but we obviously did get it at 60 and no character is at anything higher than 40 seeing as to get them from 40 to 50 we do need to kill the bosses one time which is um definitely something that is not going to be happening but uh is also sad at the same time obviously talents are still at level one sadly can't get those up quite yet because we're not getting any books and sadly, uh, this is the big one, we're not able to do any events that give us talent books either. Because at level 30, at Adventure Rank 30, we did unlock the ability to do events. We have the Dreams Bloom here, we have the Shadow of the Ancients and the Labyrinth Warriors. It's all appeared here, but we sadly can't do them because we have to complete quests. Now this is something else, uh, something else I want to talk about later on. But for now, let's go on with what we have to talk about. As per usual, I've been just getting my characters up to speed. I have been doing a very cool and unique thing with the characters uh, artifacts. So in the whole world of Teyvat that I can access, which is Liwei and Mondstadt, there are three vendors. There are three vendors that sell artifacts. And on a weekly basis, I have been buying their artifacts because they are really the only way that I can get consistently artifacts. Uh, to a total of 15 from all three merchants i've been buying those to level up my artifacts and that is how i have a level 9 artifact on my feather that is how i have that constantly buying those trying to level up my current ones as best as i can so the traveler can be as strong as possible in terms of what resources we've stocked up we've got a bunch of rolls we've got 25 fragile resins uh, i've only collected one animoculus i don't actually remember even getting that i think that was a long time ago as well but we have 25 or 24 of these acquaint fates, three of these and going into our wish system. We haven't done any wishes, just so you guys know. We have zero done wishes, 5.5 thousand primo gems. And going into the history, just, just to really fact check myself, zero recorded here, zero recorded on that one, and as well, zero recorded on this one. And here, obviously, it will tell you uh, history wise, we got no rolls there. So. We're not really getting a character, but that is also something that I want to talk about right now as we transition into the controversial topics. I'm going to leave it up to the comment section, to the community, to decide which character or if any character at all do we want to roll on. Because I'm thinking, we don't roll on any character. We save for La Signora, or we save for Dainsley. If we say, this account right here, I just save until the end of the game. But it's really up to you guys. What character do you want me to roll on? I'm thinking Danesleaf, we try to get a C6 Danesleaf and a C6 with his weapon by saving from now till the very end of the game and seeing what we can do with that. The other thing I want to talk about is the weapon ascension. So it's going to be very difficult using only a level 40 weapon as the world level goes higher and higher because currently it is uh, at world level 3 and the weapon that I'm using obviously is a good weapon but the damage is going to drop off very very soon because weapon is the main part of your damage. So I was also thinking of just running just enough domains to get this material just so I can ascend it to uh, level 50 and then so vice versa only get this weapon uh, and essentially just do that for the MC get the MC's weapon as, uh, as I need to because the weapon is such a critical part of the character and then at the same time 
only get the normal attack pattern of the main character leveled up with talents and farm those out. Now, this is something that I'm, I've been thinking for a while and decided, uh, may decide to do in my journey to Adventure Rank 40. I definitely will consider it. And if you guys in the comment section say not to or say to do, I will definitely uh, listen to that. Mainly because the damage uh, that I'll need for the enemies in the future is definitely going to need to be bumped up because a level 40 weapon and level 1 talents is not going to be sufficient enough fighting level 60, 70 enemies in the future. And onto the next thing I want to talk about is the quests. So as per usual, as uh, last time, I haven't done any of the quests in the game because they give experience, uh, adventure rank XP, and I don't want to do any of that. So I still haven't done anything. I've got obviously a bunch of these ones here. And that is something that I want to talk about. If we jump over to the events screen, we have a bunch of these different things. And obviously I wouldn't go as far as to want to go to Inazuma in terms of the quest line. But I was considering, heavily considering, doing just enough to get Barbara as a character. Because currently in the game I have no healer, and having any type of healer would be very, very useful. But obviously, again, I'll leave it to the, the comment section, or if there's any amount of comments saying uh, yes or no, I will definitely do that. All these other ones aren't really too important. Obviously, I will miss out on events for the, pretty much the whole game in, in terms of this account. I definitely won't be able to do these because I need to flower blooms in a prison and obviously here I need to do teapot to call a home. So there are a bunch of quests that I need to do to unlock a lot of things, but I won't be doing those. But specifically for Barbara, I was definitely considering it. Now if we jump into our achievements, this is going to be a cool thing. So we're going to go into the achievement where we can check our uh, ley lines done because that is what I'm only spending my um, things on. I can't remember what it's called, my, more, my, my resin, that's the one. That's what I'm spending my resin on. And if we jump into here, so we have... Collect 200 rewards from those, uh, the uh, ley lines. And we're at 296 ley lines collected. And uh, that's slowly but surely rising. The achievements I'm not collecting either, mainly because I'll collect them in bulk when we decide to actually roll on a character, if we ever decide to roll on a character until the end of the game. Uh, but yeah, none of these achievements are getting done because obviously I can't really go to Inazuma. I can't really do any of them because some of them require domains. Some of them I can eventually try to do, but a lot of the bosses are hidden and locked behind quests. And that's pretty much the whole video done, guys. So I have shown you guys, again, only spending my resin on ley lines. We've achieved a fair bit in the since the last time, but the time between these videos is going to pretty much substantially increase uh, a lot. This has been getting to Adventure Rank 30. The journey has been quite long and getting to 40 is going to be pretty much double the length. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see what happens in the next 10 adventure ranks. But till then guys, stay safe, stay healthy, drink some water and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.